Hey folks, so we're gonna do some splitting. Now here's the deal with splitting for me. Me personally, I would never split something like this in wild. You know, first off, you will never find something like this in wild. Second off, even if I carried a saw, you know, portable big saw that I could saw this through, I would not do it. For me, it's just waste of energy. I'm definitely going for smaller pieces, collecting firewood like this thick and stuff like this thick, pretty much any knife can baton through without any problem. But I do want to do this just for the sake of testing. I want to see what it can do, what it cannot do. The knives, I have a couple here. Uh, I will try to go through, right through the middle, with my Spartan, just to see what it does and how it holds up. So let's see. It might be too much. Yeah. That's too much. So let me try to split in half with the axe first and then do the small pieces. This is fairly fresh. It was last 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 fall down tree. So it might be a little too much for the you know for the what is it called? A knife to go through it. You see even axe is like that is some tough stuff. It's some pretty nasty stuff. It looks like it's pretty dry in the middle, but it is still solid piece of wood. So now when it's half, let's try it now. I might weaken it up a little bit. Let's see. Pretty serious thing. So this holds good. No chipping. There, there should be no chipping on the stuff like that. Let's try Kylie's. Let's try Kylie's version. Should be no issue. It's about the same thickness, even more blade. Piece of cake. Let me try, what else I want to try? Try BK9. Again, about, about the same thickness. BK9 is probably just the tiniest bit thinner. Because it has a coating, but almost the same thing. Nice nut. There's my baton. Nice big nut in there. But goes fairly. You know, with adequate force, it will go through it. No damage. Let's see. I'm curious about this one. Jungle, Jungle Warrior from Sock. Just out of curiosity. Let's see how the OS 8 will hold. Oh no, this is ACR 30 MOV, sorry. Not OS 8. Fairly well. Nice and Nice and easy. And one more thing I want to try. I actually grew up to like the Hawk a lot. I love this thing. For the money, guys, chopping 
it's just incredible it's so light so cheap I grew to love it so much today throughout the day as I play with it keep hitting on the edge of it so just a small small stuff flies out nice it splits it fairly nice it hits that head and and you see this Once that head goes through, it splits it fairly, fairly nice. Let's see this technique. Uh, yeah, I'm in, I'm in the frame. Very, very nice. I'm telling you guys, I really, really love the the sog hawk. The frontier hawk is just excellent tool, excellent tool. like a charm as you can see stand for me <laughs> there we go beautiful I love the sog the cold steel frontier hog just excellent tool you know a lot of people say it's a it's a fighting tool but I just love it. It works perfect. So light and so cheap. Absolutely love it. Let me see. I want to try one more thing, the same technique, but with the knife. That's splitting like this. Didn't try that. Pretty damn well. I love it. It's fun. This is about the most splitting I would do. But oh, here's the thing. I had that piece here. That wood that I said that that's about the wood I would be considering splitting. That's something that I would find down. Or I would down the dead tree and uh, you know something that you can easily cut through you know chop through with a regular good knife or good axe or hawk uh, within a couple seconds that's about the only thing I would consider batoning just to split it to get to the dry wood and to you know to expose the edges uh, instead of having it around and with that with the wet wet bark on the outside see it works perfect that's about the, the most I would expect not expect that's about the most I would put my knife through outdoors because there is no reason to baton baton honestly is kinda kinda testing like a not mid like exaggeration how to push the knives to the limits because also all the manufacturers, for, there is a reason, a lot of manufacturers tells you that the batoning is not covered by warranty. Because there really isn't a reason to baton through the lug you've seen on the beginning of the video, that size, there is really no reason. The lug like that you're gonna come by if you're in your cabin or if you're car camping and you took it down with the chainsaw. And uh, in that case if you need to split it, you better have an axe with you. You've seen how easy that axe went through it. Not easy, but fairly easy. And uh, you know, you gotta you gotta have the right tool for the right job, as always. And in my in my opinion, the knife is not really a tool to split the log. You know, this size. 
just my two cents <laughs> and I think I'm pretty sure a lot of people a lot of skilled people will agree with me on that because it's just reality so hope you enjoyed it guys thank you for watching take care stay safe and remember don't cut yourself